Welcome to the Lux Life Show. In this episode, we check out one of the country's biggest artistic talents, Sumo, who turned his passion into an impressive career any international artist would aspire to. Hi, I'm Marina, your content creator with a passion for bringing people together, discovering Luxembourg and uncovering the success stories behind Luxembourg's biggest talents. I'll bring you on a journey so personal that you won't find anywhere else. So oh, this is the gallery. God, it's amazing. This is cool. Really cool. This is behind the scenes of the gallery, basically. Yes, this is what no one sees. Sumo's studio was such a cool space, and I wanted to see just how hard or easy it would be to replicate one of his own artworks. Do you have a challenge for me today? Your challenge will be to paint exactly what I paint. I'll start and you'll do the same. Last time I painted was when I was 13 at secondary school. How hard could it be, I thought? God, this isn't the first time I've ever used a canvas in my life. So I think at the end, Sumo keeps mine and I keep Sumo's. So, um, we'll paint one of my, my characters. When I was doing art at school, my teachers would always send me out because I was always chatting too much to everyone. Today we'll do just one layer. Okay. But, uh, but what I do is usually is I, I paint a, a lot of layers. I want to put words on it. I think that's really cool. And you always do like hidden messages. So I think we should hide a message. Watching Sumo at work was really impressive. He's a visionary who just works with such ease and you can really see that there are so many ideas in his mind and we're really only seeing just a fraction of the complexities on the canvas. But what I really wanted to know was what success means to Sumo. Success is progress. My personal success would be making a living having fun. Oh no, that same thing's happened again. My signature style has come back, Sumo. <laughs> oh, maybe that's the effect I'm going for. This is the definition of HD versus when you're not feeling successful. You know what, we, we can just make a big yellow top. Do the fumes ever give you a headache? Uh, no. With the security of Sumo's masterpiece next to mine as a guide, it was relatively comfortable. I'd probably be a bit more nervous to do this totally from scratch. Okay, so now that you've got the hang of the spray can, we're going to go to the interesting part. We're going to add effects. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Problem with you is you've made it look too easy. So everyone at home's like, oh, I could do that. It's one of those things. Come on, let's be honest, this is awful. Mine's like such a knockoff of what he's done. <laughs> Mine's like, you know, when you like buy a fake handbag. <laughs> you know what? There's no room for self doubt in this. When you're going for it, you've really got to go for it or make it part of your art, as you said. Sometimes it's horrible and sometimes uh, it leads to something great. If you, have, you make a mistake and then you have to start uh, fixing it, and by fixing it, usually those are the parts that always look the best. Yeah. There's something really fun about these spray cans, but it's really difficult. Also, imagine if I didn't have him to copy and I had to just freestyle on this huge canvas, I definitely wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, mine is like a leak, look at it leaking, it's like melting off, <laughs> off the canvas. That looks really cool. I love that somehow, because it's graffiti art, it, at first glance, it looks like a swear word. When choosing words for our art, Sumo suggested words that had multiple meanings or could be interpreted in different ways. We spoke a lot about focus and how when we are in flow and pursuing our passions, everything just seems more in focus. Almost like life in high definition. Oh, I still need to sign. Okay, so like how I would sign the back of a bank card? No, you have to uh, put your marina tag. It's not awful. 
not the champagne. <laughs> the painting. So, moment of truth. Pass or fail? Hey, definitely pass. Okay. There is no fail. Obviously, it's hard to replicate someone else's work, but you would do your own. It would be absolutely perfect. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a suggestion in the comments for which talent we should uncover next time. This episode was brought to you by Brasserie Nationale, the home of Luxembourg's favourite beers, Boffeting, Batin and Funk Brisha. Book your tour and tasting today at visitbrasserienationale.com.